My favorite part about being a lawyer is to help somebody that has a problem. There's a legal system that is complicated that they need assistance guiding them through it. And then in the end, getting them a good result, getting them fair compensation is very rewarding. I am a personal injury lawyer in Buffalo, New York. My law firm is the only multi-generational African-American owned law firm in the state of New York. My partner is Kristen Elmore Garcia, who is my daughter. To work with her and watch her grow and be successful as my law partner and now my managing partner, it's a really, really great feeling. My other daughter that I'm very proud of is a surgeon, and I have a son who is a commercial airline pilot for United Airlines, and all of this wouldn't have been possible without my parents giving me the value of education and then me passing it on to my children. I chose to become a state trooper as my my gap year to learn a little bit more about the law, and I was gonna figure out how to get into law school. And I was very, very fortunate to meet Professor Tom Maroney, who was on leave from the law school as a New York State Assistant Attorney General. He introduced me to Paul Richardson, who was the first African-American lawyer that I met in my life. They kind of gave me a plan on how to get into law school. Through their guidance, I was able to attend Syracuse University, and I owe so much to Tom Maroney and Paul Richardson for guiding me to Syracuse University. The day that I graduated from Syracuse was awesome. I'm the first generation to go to college, and it wasn't like I received a degree. It was like my whole family received a degree. And that was probably one of the most happiest days of my life, other than seeing my children graduate from college. The value of education, the value of continuing education is, is one of the things that I've taken with me from Syracuse. I knew that was a blessing and that somehow I would be able to, to help others. And so my law career has been a community of service. We not only have the duty to represent our clients, but we have the duty and obligation to help formulate policies that are gonna be better and to make our communities better and safer. We are representing several of the families of the victims of the Tops massacre where Peyton Gendron went into uh, Tops with an AR-15 and murdered several African Americans. It was a racially motivated shooting. What happened on May 14th is something that was just traumatic. I mean, this is my community. We put together a very, very strong, capable team that is gonna change society. And if we can hold some of the corporate entities that are responsible, we can make America a little bit better and safer. When I received notification from Syracuse that I was gonna receive an award, I was, I was excited. It's, it's one of the highest honors that I've received in my life. It's given me a reason to get reconnected to the law school and hopefully get a chance to encourage and assist others. I've done a lot of things in my career, and I have a lot of work to do. I'm 66 years old, and I plan on being a lawyer as long as I'm mentally and physically capable of doing this job.